Hello everyone, this is VGTI, back with more Half-Life Theories. This one's a continuation off of my previous two videos, so if you have not seen part one and two of uh, my Half-Life Theories videos, go check those out, um, because this video will make a lot more sense if you watch those. So, I know it's been a while guys, uh, I recently moved, so I've been settling in. Um, but hopefully I will be able to find a better schedule for myself and pick up the upload pace a bit. But you guys will just have to bear with me for now. Uh, good news is, there's plenty more coming, and we're going to start off with Half-Life, and by extension, Portal. Uh, this theory today that I'm going to present to you all covers both of these games. In part one, I discussed my theory on how G-Man is a representation of fate, uh, what his powers are, what he can do, things like that, and basically what his motivations are throughout the entire series. And in part two, I talked about what I think is on the Borealis. This part has to do with both, both the G-Man and the Borealis. Uh, but it's also going to have to do with Aperture Science itself. This theory that I'm going to tell you all, it has been presented before, and I know that certain people out there do believe in this theory, but I'm actually going to add on to it a bit and give it a little more context, so to speak. My theory is that the G-Man was behind GLaDOS malfunctioning, and Aperture Science basically being destroyed. I think this was all the G-Man's doing. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of this theory, um, but if you haven't, there's actually a fan-made game out there for Portal called Portal Prelude, and in the ending of that game, spoiler alert in case you, you know, you're planning on playing it, but uh, in the ending of that game, G-Man appears, and it seems to imply that he had something to do with GLaDOS malfunctioning. Now, of course, that's a fan-made game, so it's not canon to the Half-Life and Portal storylines, but it, it just kind of throws the theory out there. Now, I'm going to put that onto the theories that I've presented already. I'm going to add something onto it. I believe that the G-Man was behind this, but as I said, the G-Man cannot directly influence events uh, by himself. He has to do it by making contracts with people and having them do things for him. So who did he make a contract with to do this? I think that he made a contract with GLaDOS's previous human self, Caroline. Before I go into that though, we need to go back in time, back when the Borealis disappeared from its dry dock. I mentioned briefly on the history of the Borealis in part two of Half-Life Theories, what happened to it and everything, but I think there's a little more going on here than meets the eye. I'm starting to, as I formulate this theory, I'm starting to get the suspicion that the G-Man might have been behind that too. Of course, that begs the question of what did he do to have that happen? Well, I don't think the G-Man was directly responsible for the Borealis disappearing. The Borealis just disappeared because Aperture was messing with technology that they didn't understand. They weren't following normal safety procedures, as Kleiner said. And because of this, a freak accident happened, and it transported to another universe. Now, we don't know what the G-Man did from there, but somehow, maybe by making a contract with someone at the alternate universe, he actually got the Borealis out of there and into the Arctic. He did this because he knew it would need to be there in the future for his plan to come to fruition for taking down the Combine. But all of this begs the question, why would the G-Man do these things to Aperture? Why would he get the Borealis away from them? Why would he purposefully try to malfunction their AI so that they would be destroyed? What's his goal in doing all of this? Well, I thought about it and I realized if Aperture is messing with technology that opens portals to other universes, which is very similar to G-Man's powers, 
then he obviously sees that as a threat. He sees it as a disruption to the natural order of things. Aperture shouldn't have that kind of technology, and chances are that it interferes with whatever his plans are for the future. He needed to get them out of the way. Having the Borealis disappear just worked out in his favor, but then he had to get rid of Aperture itself. That's my theory on why the G-Man is doing this, but now let's fast forward to Caroline herself. Uh, she was Cape Johnson's assistant. Uh, they had a very, very good relationship with each other, but things started going bad when Cape Johnson started getting sick. He was not going to have long to live. He wanted to extend his life by having his brain put into a computer AI so that he could run the facility. But, as a catch, he said that if he dies before the project is finished, he requested to have Caroline's brain put into the AI instead. The thing is, though, we don't know how this went down. There's nothing really in Portal or Portal 2 that kind of hints towards what Caroline felt about the situation. But here's the thing. There are some unused audio files that were recorded uh, by Valve for Portal 2 that were cut from the final game, and people found these, and it's just Caroline's voice. She's saying to someone, presumably Cape Johnson, because she's calling this person sir, she's saying that she does not want that, sir. She, she really does not want to do that. She doesn't want that. It's not saying what this is, of course, but it's heavily implying that she's talking about having her brain put into the AI, which makes her effectively immortal, running Aperture Science for good. She... I mean, it's easy to assume that she didn't want that in the first place, even without these unused audio files, but that just backs it up even more. I have a feeling that Caroline did not want this and she just started to grow a hatred for Aperture Science for forcing her to do this. I presume that they forced her to do it and that she had no way out of it. So, of course, the G-Man comes into play. He wants to take down Aperture Science, and he sees the perfect candidate with Caroline. He basically makes a contract with her. He tells her that I know I can't help you out of this situation, but if you want, I could help you get revenge on Aperture Science. So she agrees to this. She wants to get revenge on them. So G-Man has her tamper with the newly made Morality Core for GLaDOS. Aperture made the Morality Core to keep her anger basically in check, her conscience, and Caroline tampered with this before her brain was put into the AI. So that when it was put into the AI and they installed the morality core, GLaDOS malfunctioned and she killed everyone with neurotoxin. The G-Man has effectively wiped out Aperture Science completely, save for, you know, some of the surviving characters from that series, but this plan worked and Caroline got her revenge, even after the upload into the AI. That's my theory on what the G-Man had to do with Aperture's downfall. Uh, I know this one was kind of short, but there wasn't a whole lot to talk about in this one either. Um, but it's definitely something interesting, and it just adds to my first two theories on Half-Life and Portal and what's going on in those with the G-Man. Uh, this just makes the most sense to me. The whole G-Man making a contract with Caroline thing is something that I thought of, uh, but the original theory just has G-Man, of course, tampering with GLaDOS on his own directly. So, guys, tell me what you think of this theory. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comments, and if you have anything to add to this theory, then please do so. Uh, just let me know what you think, what you liked about it, what you disliked about it. Um, if you like the video, then feel free to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate every subscriber. 
I really, really do. Um, and if you subscribe, of course, you will get plenty more gaming theory videos. Uh, if you like the video, then feel free to like it or dislike it or go about your business. My next video will be soon. I have a idea in mind for it already. So I'm going to try to get started on that as soon as I possibly can. And who knows, I might make another Half-Life or Portal Theory video down the line if I think of something. Um, or if you, have, if you guys have something to recommend to me for those two series in particular, then leave it in the comments and I'll consider it. All that good stuff. So, I'll see you guys in the next video.